is a short and sweet core session. We're looking at building strength in our core, the front, the back, the sides. Hopefully it'll come in at 10 to 15 minutes. Um, yeah, we'll see how we get on. Short but powerful. So come to lying on your back. So a classic core strengthener would be a version of the crunch or the sit-up. We're not a huge fan of them because they usually they're taken to extreme and it's a bit too much for, for any of us and it creates an imbalance when you're purely focused on the front of the body, it creates a weakness in the back of the body. That said, it is still quite a useful tool for you to feel your core and I'll take you through it safely. So just relax your head in your hands, so interlacing your fingers, relax the head in the hand. Now the head stays relaxed here, you've got your feet planted at hip width. And as we exhale, we're just literally only going to lift the head and the shoulders. But while you're doing that, you're drawing your core in, all right? And then as you inhale, you come back down, taking the elbows wide. Exhale. Inhale, exhale, inhale, and again, let's do it three more times. So it's a tiny movement. So the head stays relaxed, the face stays relaxed, hands up. Bring your knees into your chest. So if you want to do, you could do more reps of those uh, repetitions, keeping them small, okay? There's nothing to be gained in making them bigger. Now we can take it a little further by bringing the knees up so that your shins are sort of horizontal and parallel with your mat. We're going to do exactly the same here, but we're going to add a little twist so we target our obliques, our side muscles, to give them a little workout as well. So you could flex the feet if that helps. So inhale, exhale. Now we're going to do a double exhalation. So we're going to come up, and then we're going to turn to the right, another exhalation. Then we're going to inhale back to centre. We're going to hover. If that's too much for you, relax the head down. All right, so here we go, to the right, inhale, to the left, inhale, the head, lower the feet. Ah. So that shouldn't be felt too bad. Now you've got a choice here, depending on how your lower back is feeling, you might want to keep your feet on the floor bent, or the knees bent rather with your feet on the floor. And with your hands down by your side, you're going to straighten out the right leg. And then inhale, engage that core. So we've got that internal lift, that gentle lifting of the Mula Bandha, that engagement of your core muscles. Inhale, take the leg up. Exhale, let's lower it down. So rather than lifting from the hip, I want you to imagine that the leg extends to your navel and you're actually lifting from your navel. Pressing out through the heel. Are you engaging your core still or are you letting the hip do all the work? One more. Bring it 
the plank back to the ground. Other side, stretch out that leg. Here we go. Now I've got a very clunky hip. So if it goes off, don't be alarmed. Do one more. Exhale, lower the leg back down. We bring both feet into the chest. If you need to, just rock from side to side to ease out the lower back. It's really easy to overdo the lower back when we're working with our core. And then just roll onto your right hip, slide your left hand under your left sacrum, pelvis, and then slide the right hand under as well. Watch for your back for this one. Press your arms into the mat. Let's get some energy from the mat. Now, as you exhale, or you've already exhaled, sorry, whoa, your knees are into your chest. You're gonna stretch the legs out and you're gonna bring them back in. Right. So stretch the legs back out down the mat, bring them back in. Stretch, bring them back in. Now, if that's too much, and it might well be, you could just have the legs higher up and bring them in. So take them higher up, take some pressure off the lower back. Ease the hands from underneath your pelvis, rock from side to side. So if your back is weak, you want to skip this one altogether. Again, we're going to support the back by sliding the hands underneath the pelvis. Just takes the pressure off the lower back. Now this one is very strong. So again, be sensible, straightening out those legs. Work those arms into the mat and you're gonna reach both legs out in front of you. And then inhale them back up. Play about with the breath. Side. Slide your hands behind your knees, rock backwards and forwards a few times. And just come up to sitting. Always think about our curl downs, sitting nice and tall. You can hold on to your legs here for a bit of support while your core is gaining strength. Inhale. Exhale. And what comes down has to go back up again. Think about this. 
So as we're straining up from your lower back, think about rolling the head up, rolling the shoulders up, really working the core to your spine. And coming back up. Two more times. Rolling down. Don't be in a hurry. Exhale. Bring the soles of your feet together, let the knees fall out, come forward. Round the back, release tension from the shoulders, from the neck. And if you have time, taking your five minutes shavasana. Well done. Namaste.